everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today is moving day for So Original Yarn Studio. And uh, we are already at work inside, bagging up everything, looking at more gorgeous yarn than <laughs> I can almost, uh, can, I can hardly stand. It's, it's so much fun doing this, but um, Lana is moving and will be opening the new store. I believe it is July 1st in Columbia, Maryland. And um, so let's go on inside and I'll show you what we're doing. Oh, I remember. That's right. I do and there goes that. Lana. And here goes Lana. Lana. Come yeah. see me in Colombia. Yay. Yay. I've got that. So this is all the yarn I've bagged off the walls. And there are many, many, many more rooms to tackle here. And I'm going to be getting on to that. And lots and lots of gorgeous yarn. Hello. Right. Look at all this beautiful yarn I am packing. I am finding more and more colors and brands than I have ever met. So look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this yarn. All the colors in this. Wow. We may just see some of these show up in the future. <laughs> I am not sure, but we'll see. Well, we're making some headway this morning. Let me go ahead and show you what we've been doing. We're making some headway, still got some more to pack up. But look at all these bags of wonderful, wonderful yarn. This is just the beginning of packing. And then we have later in this week, we're gonna have to put it all back together again. Lots of heads over here. outside of the new yarn shop formerly called so original in uh, Brookville Maryland it has moved to Columbia Maryland and it's been a couple of weeks since I've helped uh, my friend Lana move in I've been away as you well know and so now we are going to go inside and take a look at what she's been able to do. Okay, I'm coming into the store now. You can see we still have a lot of bags, but boy, does this look fantastic from two weeks ago. Remember that, Lana? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, here's Lana and, and, and her friend, Carolyn, who's learning how to knit. She is primarily a crocheter, and I just found out dyes yarn. So oh. stay tuned for what might happen there. <laughs> well, let me just show you real quickly. I think the way Lana has organized the shop this time, and you see extra bags on the floor, which just means more stock than what she literally has room to show, because she kind of went from a, a larger place. But um, here is the section of the bulky yarn. So she has many, many, many different yarns. I don't have time to go into all of it, but many fabulous, um, uh, what you call blends, um, and also, you know, wool of all sorts. And, and silk and cottons, you know, all of the fibers are mixed in, but this is, this is all the bulky weight yarns. And then I believe most of this is the worsted or heavy DK weight yarns and, you know, many, many, many things. She has samples here and there, and you can feel what the yarn's going to feel like when it's knit together. And um, here's some yarns that I especially like, some of the hand-dyed earth yarns and I, I am going to be bringing some of those out in designs in the future and many 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 things here and let's go ahead and over to the next aisle okay now as we get closer you know aisle by aisle the yarn does get a bit thinner but don't don't forget to look around look at the look at the colors on this yarn and this is the stuff ladies and gentlemen that really really tempts me I really need to lock my credit card away when I come and see yarn like this, because it's just so enticing. And just many, 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 many different brands. If you've never been to a shop like this, I highly recommend you visit just to see what's out there and just to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Just maybe. Okay, and let's see what we have over here. And then we have more yarn and we're getting thinner yarns and there may be some specialty yarns here and if you ever can't find what you're looking for all you need to do is reach out to Lana and she is the master of yarn 
she knows so much Ooh, look at this ladies and gentlemen this is my pattern and this is actually a free pattern on uh, let's see cascade yarns website this is a cowl and it's using the honeycomb stitch i forgot that this was even in the store and here's the yarn that i used for this this is uh forest hills by cascade yarns um, you can see it's not cheap, but when you look at the makeup of the yarn, it's 51% silk, 45% merino wool, which is amazing to work with. This is a one Hank Wonder or one one scan wonder, I guess you can call it. Uh, and you can finish a complete project with just one of these, which is always a plus. And for our Australian friends, here's some Queensland yarn that she has in the store and she has more of that right over here it comes from australia and um, i have a design coming out soon with with some of this yarn i see she introduced me to the and this is um this is 100 percent cotton you can see what that is 100 percent mercerized cotton and it's generous amounts 371 yards in each hank and for eight dollars and that's actually an excellent uh, excellent price on this yarn on quality yarn so there's lots of things you can find in stores like this it doesn't all have to be super expensive um, you can find you know good blends or even just yarn that just has a ton of yardage for you know each scan here's another y yarn similar to the um, forest yarn by Cascade Yarns. This is the Juniper Juniper Moon Farm and you see that's thirty dollars but look at the yardage. There are seven hundred and ninety eight yards which is a lot of yardage certainly enough to make a, a delightful project and this is fifty percent merino wool and fifty percent silk and yes it feels pretty amazing if you can imagine wearing a scarf made with this that would be really 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 sweet and here's another um, color in the Forest Hills, the multis. Look at that! Isn't that isn't that beautiful? I mean, this this scarf would look so amazing with this variegated yarn if you're into that. Here's another place where I can get into some deep trouble. This is a kid mohair and bamboo viscose and nylon blend. That, that's interesting, but this. Oh my goodness, this is really nice. The Debbie Bliss Angel Prints. This is 70% Super Kid Mohair and 24% Silk. And yes, it does feel amazing if you like crocheting with cotton candy. And by the way, these kinds of fibers are extremely warm, even if the, the design made looks, you know, kind of see-through and airy. It is very warm. Don't ever be fooled by that. And you can see all the different colors and different brands of this type of yarn. Very beautiful. I just wanted to show you some of Lana's work and I just love the way she puts different yarns together and you can see her talent there. And look at this one behind. Just where you have the fur yarn or the different texturized yarns added to projects. I'm going to be working a project um, coming soon where I'm going to be blending different textures of yarn and I think you're really going to like it. Let's put that back and just to show you she has many, many, many uh, hooks, needles, and she does carry quality crochet hooks. I've not actually used these before, but they are more in keeping with the um, inline style like I like to use if you follow me for five minutes you know I'm a Susan Bates inline crochet hook she has many different sizes these are beautiful I might have to bring one of these home just to give it a try to um, revisit the uh, crochet hook question again she has a lot of knitting needles and I thought these pink ones were pretty cute and lots of you know supply where you can get your circulars, your your double pointed needles, and various things. And she does not disappoint with you all who are on a budget. We have 50%. This is her 50% off wall. This might be worth worth visiting just for that alone. Let's take a look. And I'm just going to give you a little sneak peek. Lots and lots of things that are 50% off that you can always check out. Okay, we have to say hi to Amika. 
Hi, Amika. She's a sweetheart. She had surgery a couple weeks ago, and she's maybe just still a little bit tired from that, but she's all better. Yep. And she is the resident pup and will greet you at the door sometimes, sometimes very loudly <laughs> sometimes very loudly but she's she's just always been so sweet to me and just she comes is. up and asks she's you to rub her head or rub her belly again this is a work in progress as you can imagine moving all of this but here are many things that you can buy it's like a little boutique of already hand knitted projects and i see i see something else that i made years ago this is a bag that is, let me go ahead and show you this, a bag. It could also be made into a backpack. It's in my book, Contemporary Celtic Crochet. Should you want to be interested in take, checking that out? But I just wanted to show you that there's so many beautiful things. And if you wonder what things are going to look like in particular yarns, I'm sure Yolana would be just about able to provide for you a sample. I've got to show this to you because this is the first shop I've ever seen such a thing. This is paper. This is knitted paper it comes in balls like yarn and it's lined beautifully with um, a cotton liner but I just thought wow that is just so cool that you can crochet or you can knit with paper you probably need to be careful though not to get it wet or too close to a flame <laughs> I got to show you these cute little bags that have been made to help celebrate Lana's uh, move and opening the new store in Columbia it has her little so original tag on there I mean, these are just so cute and nice, generous openings um, so that you can load it up with your project and carry it on the go. She's got a limited number of these, but you know, you can check these out. So. Lana's showing me a, a design here that she has made out of leftover yarn. Look at this with the different textures. Yeah. Wow. I bet a lot of you recognize never this yarn. Never, yeah, never throw away your bits and pieces because yeah, you can always that. make our very unique things because oh, it's absolutely it. not, not repeatable. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah, and it's with, um, you used a larger size needle, I'm yes, guessing? Yes, I'm using worsted weight yarn, but I'm using needle 11. So Ooh, I like that it size. Looks, uh, yeah, it looks, it's very bouncy and open and fluffy and texture create very interesting combination i might have to buy one of those kits from you do you still have any kits left yeah the oldest shelf okay. right there okay As she looks there goes there goes some money here there goes some money <laughs> that looks great yarn that used to be so popular but the interest for it died out yeah i remember that and uh, i know i could have crocheted the ruffle on the edge but why wasting time when you you have something ready available yeah. And I have it all on 50% off, but I'm just using to show people that there is still use for it. Sure. And I think it would look interesting to trim it off. Here's a blue blue version of, that of this, and you can see the way she... And here is the white used. version of this. Oh, wow. Okay. Now my salivary glands are really drooling. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's got the little, you probably can't see it in the video, but this just ever so faint of a sparkle. Yeah, it's not overwhelming. It doesn't look overwhelming tacky. It's just a hint of a little sequence sparkle and it looks beautiful. I know. I like, I and like shiny things. And for those of you who are beginning or, you know, beginning early intermediates like me, this would be an easy excellent, project. Just an easy repeat, project. easy yeah, project. Yeah, Fiesta Shawl. It's the name of my kit. Fiesta, Fiesta kit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so because it's kind of mixture. So if somebody wanted to buy one of these kits, could, do you mail order or? Absolutely. You do but, mail order? Yeah. Okay. But what I start doing, I don't have a set price because sometimes yarns are a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're more expensive. So what I do, whatever they choose, they tell me, I want to do something in blues or beiges or purples. I put together a kit, I take a picture, and if they like it, then I charge them for the yarn and a pattern comes. Occasionally, I crochet. <laughs> She's a great crocheter. I like to, I like to knit more than yeah. her. But I've been lately on a crocheting spell, yeah. and I don't even know the name of that stitch. It just came yeah. into my mind, and I said, I'll make a little summer vest. And yeah. that's what came out. And just to let you all know, Lana is probably the most supportive <laughs> yarn store owner. And I'm not, I'm not trying to flatter her, but if it encourages her, that's great. She is the most f crochet friendly oh, yeah. store owner I have ever met. Can you tell them about your Russian language um, and about the word well, knit? Well, uh, 
uh, if I do not translate, but uh, I'm sorry, do not interpret, but translate mm -hmm. word knitting and crochet into Russian, actually, in my language, we do not have word, independent word for crochet. Literally, translation in my language would be knitting with a hook and knitting with needles. So it's the same mm -hmm. craft. It's the tool that differentiates right. the finished product. So yes. that's why I do not think yeah. that crocheting is less important or knitting less important. So to me, they're equally um, uh, balanced. Sometimes they go together beautifully. Knitting mm -hmm. loves crochet. Yeah. And I think crochet love, should love knitting. Yeah, yeah. And uh, combining those two crafts together is excellent. And if you are a crocheter, you're already halfway knitter for continental style yes. of knitting. And, and so if you yeah. decide to learn to knit, pick continental style. It's mm -hmm. important because you're already holding your yarn in the left. Right. And for the record, this lovely lady is the one who taught me how to knit. She kind of made me knit. She's like, oh, you she got, was an easy student. Yeah, she's like, oh, you gotta, you got to just learn this right now. And she had this beautiful hat, and I just was smitten by the yarn, of course. And then she made me learn, and no regrets whatsoever. Yep, I'm All glad. Right. We're going to do something together. Yes. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to thank my friend, Lana. <laughs> She's such a great friend. And um, we just wanted to invite you out just to your to your lovely store and give the address and phone number just um, in case people are looking. Okay, it's right on the street on Dobbin Road in Columbia, 6655. I like the repetition of numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dobbin Road, D-O-B-B-I-N Road, Columbia, Maryland. And it's Suite A. So uh, it's very easy to mm -hmm. find. Please come over. Make sure a look up that I'm open. I'm closed on Mondays all the time. And, and Sunday. And Sundays, Sundays would be my workshop yeah. day. So I could be yeah. here, but I really don't want to encourage a lot of shopping because uh, students don't deserve to be interrupted. <laughs> but uh, Bonnie good. was a great help in moving. I used only my customers and friends. And yeah, everybody was, was, came. Yeah. It was fabulous. So yeah, uh, I, just, I, I saved probably a load of money by not hiring yeah. anybody and we did all this together and Bonnie was putting yarn in yeah. bins and boxes and driving my my 24 year old pickup truck. truck with no AC and what was like 98 degrees oh a couple God. days it was like the hottest days in Maryland but yeah, we got but anyway but, with but, hot weather yeah but it was great to just work with your friends people love Lana and and it's just thank you it's I'm getting blessed gotta, we got to keep her kind of keep her store open and around so and if you have somebody like that in your area um, you know, take a take a look, visit them, and you know, encourage them if you can. Um, help keep them in business if you're able to. I mean, no pressure there, but um, it, it's a great community to be a part of. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for knitting. Yeah. Thank you for crocheting. Yeah. God bless. God bless. Bye. <laughs>